Is spontaneous, leaderless teamwork the best kind? A while back I saw a great example of spontaneous, leaderless teamwork. I was making my way up one of those very long and very steep escalators that you find in London tube stations. Quite some way above me and ahead of me, a woman took off her hat and put her hand on the moving handrail, but without realising it, let go of the hat. The hat slid very quickly down the steeply sloping polished metal surface next to the handrail. It slid past several people, but a man about ten rows behind the woman caught the hat. The hat was then passed forwards by various people and within little more than ten seconds was returned to the delighted and very grateful woman who until that point hadn't even realised the hat was lost. Several things struck me about this little scene. Number one, the team formed completely spontaneously. No one was assigned roles and there was no kind of organisation at all from above. Number two, nobody told the team what to do. They simply saw that something needed to be done and they did it. Number three, no one in the team had anything to gain from their actions apart from the satisfaction of doing something good and of seeing the woman smile when the hat was returned to her. And she was absolutely beaming. I think it must have been a quite expensive hat. So how can we apply these observations to teamwork in project management? Here are my thoughts. If you are lucky enough to have an experienced and mature team, then let them organise themselves as far as possible. Show them what needs to be done and then hold back and only step in if it looks like it's not going to work. Explain to the team what the end goal is and that you need their help. They will feel more motivated to contribute if they can see what the goal is and agree that it's worthwhile. They can see how their actions contribute to reaching the goal and that they will receive recognition for achieving the goal. So, is spontaneous, self-organising teamwork the best kind? Do we need leaders at all? What do you think? What learning points occur to you from this little scene? Let me know in the comments.